is ready, so I'm going to scoop them all out. Air fryer in the home. Why is it that a lot of rice doesn't turn out nice? Just take like few, like the quantity of my rice, to cut them into two again, making a fork. The beef is ready, so I'm going to scoop them all out. You can see how brown they're all looking. And they're going to be very tasty. I'm going to pour my onions in the remaining of the oil that I use in frying the beef. It's always good to add a lot of onions when you're making jello fries because that will actually um, help to bring out the taste of the jello fries. You don't economize oil when you're making jello fries at all. The secret of making perfect jollof fries is the bell pepper. Look at this. This bell pepper is the secret of um, charming looking jollof fries and tasty jollof fries as well. Bell pepper. Followed with fresh tomatoes, vine tomatoes. You can see they are all in the stock. Right. And some other ingredients like your curry, your thyme, and all the rest of them. I'm going to add some thyme. Guys, please, if you have this kind of pot that I'm using here, it's called the iron cast pot. Try and be a bit kind to this pot by using your wooden spoon when you're stirring anything inside of the pot. The reason is, if you use the metal spoon, that's for instance, if you use this kind of spoon to keep stirring and stirring in the inside of the pot, it will damage the pots with time. It's going to give lots of cracks inside of your pot and you will not like it. So try as much. If you have this kind of pot, make sure you have wooden spoon. It's more expensive, yeah? That's what is required when you are cooking with this kind of pot. I'm going to pour in my blended tomatoes. Look at that, guys. Red, red, red. The bell pepper has been blended alongside the tomato. That's why it's so reddish. very well and allow to dry some people will pre-cook the blended tomatoes before frying but if you didn't have that time to do that you can just leave it to cook directly into the pot while the tomato is still cooking I'm going to pop in my chicken. I fry the beef because I just want to, want to fry. Then the chicken is going to go into my air fryer. Guys, make sure you have this air fryer in your home. It is very necessary. It is very, very necessary to have, 
to have air fryer in the house. It makes life easy for you. Cooking easy. The chicken is not going to take long to be ready. So I'm popping them in here. I have to do them in two batches so that they can cook very well. Okay. Lay them flat. Set your um, air fryer. I'm going to put it in number 10 at 180 degrees. Tomato paste is ready and I'm going to wash. I've already rinsed the rice. Properly rinsed now, so I'm going to add the rice to the pot. very well so that the tomato paste will go around the rice don't be in a hurry when you are making jollof rice you need to bring out your time and be patient another thing I need to remind you is don't ever parboil your rice when you're making jollof rice don't ever parboil your rice if you want to get that jollof rice party jollof rice effect don't ever parboil boil your rice just pour your rice raw let the rice start cooking from um from the onset i mean what i mean is that let the rice start cooking straight away in the pot okay i'm going to add my curry As much curry as you would love to add. I'm a curry person, I love curry a lot in my food. I got some Maggie cubes. Squeeze them all in the pots. your salt guys when you're adding salt be careful you can be testing your food as you're adding the salt so that you don't add too much salt okay because if there's too much salt in your food it means no one is going to eat that food stir very well let every all these ingredients incorporate with the rice this is my um, chicken stock. Keep stirring until everything is mixed well together. some hot water and then I will stir again you can test the sauce to see whether there's enough salt Perfect. So, guys, listen very carefully now. I'm covering my pot. Now you need to lower the the, the your gas, your 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 cooking um, temperature. 
don't fire it you need to lower it so that the rice wouldn't burn though my cast iron pot this is guaranteed it doesn't burn even if it burns it's not gonna be that bad but it gives you rest of mind when you're cooking iron cast pot is the best to make jollof rice guys I'm giving you all the tips about this jollof rice so you lower your the fire lower the gas lower the fire then watch again you know it and then leave the rice to cook on its own so I'm gonna check my chicken to see if they are ready while my rice is cooking my um, my air fryer gives me peace of mind when I'm making chicken because I don't have to be running around panicking oh my chicken is getting burnt or this or that it takes proper care of the chicken okay so that's it guys cooking is on so once the rice is ready i'm going to show you what it looks like okay i'm going to pour my rice into a big bowl and i'm going to pour hot water and leave it for like five minutes that's how I do mine. Some people wash theirs with cold water and then they pour in. But I, I always prefer using warm water. Sorry, hot water. One of my friends was asking me, why is it that her jollof rice doesn't turn out nice? Like, party effect kind of jollof rice. Guys, when you're making jollof rice, I advise you use basmati basmati rice it makes gives you a very perfect um, party effect jollof rice you know because it's got long grains uh, and it's so resistant that by the time you finish cooking it it remains very attractive and very tantalizing so i'm gonna wash so i'm gonna soak the rice right now and leave it for five about five minutes and then i'll get back to you so guys the last but not the least this is called bear leaves just take like few like the quantity of my rice requires i should use just two two pieces of these bay leaves and then i'm going to cut them into two again making it four and i'm going to pop them in the rice Add them towards the end of the cooking. The reason is it has very strong flavor. So if you add it very early, it might kind of disorganize the taste. So you add it towards the end of towards the end when you know that you will soon get the food down. That's why you're going to add the bellies. When you get the rice down once it's ready, the smell is heavenly. <sighs> Guys, rice is ready. So come, let's serve it together. Come. I'm going to move the camera closer so you can see the rice as it's being served. Look at that, piping hot. Woo! AKA jollof rice. AKA jollof rice, guys. So at this point, you can now use your um, metal spoon to dish your rice because the rice is done, okay? So nobody will judge me to say, oh, but you said don't use iron, um, sorry, don't use a metal spoon on the iron cast pot. 
now you can use it when you're stirring anything inside of the iron cast pot use your wooden spoon when you're dishing you can use your metal spoon okay good so right now i'm gonna dish Just for a start. Just for a start, guys. The rice is looking very yummy. It's looking very yummy. Chicken. Guys, check out this jello of rice. Check out this jello of rice. I wish you could test it. So yummy look at that simple and very tasty and looking very attractive now the language of this food is there's a side veg which is a cucumber so you can be rest assured that you're eating healthily at all times today is not a day of heavy salad with the jello fries just simple straightforward jello fries with chicken and little beef and then side veg which is a cucumber and your water with a slice of lemon which complements the whole thing guys guys look at this look at this clap for me now guys clap for me i tried look at that anyway with this i say thank you for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel please do so so that you can get to watch more videos okay remain blessed and take care for now